Create an HTML document to show a table giving names of the regional folk theatres and their respective states. Rashid has created the given web page. Can you recreate the HTML code he would have written for this web page? Look at the output carefully to identify the formatting that has been used on the web page. You can see in the output that there is a title followed by a table on the web page. The table has two columns and six rows. The first row displays the header for the table. Also the table has a blue border while the individual cells have a green border around them. Now to create the code for this web page, we open Notepad and start typing the document. Opening angle bracket, exclamation, doc type, space, HTML, closing angle bracket, command, marks the beginning of an HTML document. The head section of the code is then used to write the title for the web page that is, creating tables. To set the format of the web page, we define the properties of various elements within the opening and closing style tags. For example, to set the border for the table, inside the table selector we mention the border to be 4 pixels and solid blue in color. Further, we mention that the caption position in the table should be at the top. We also define the border for individual cells of the table as 2 pixels and solid green in color. After setting all the properties, we move to the body tag, where we type the text to be displayed on the web page, such as the caption of the table that is, folk theatres, and so on. After the code has been written, to save the document, select File and click on Save As. Now in the Save As dialog box, choose the location where you wish to save the document. Then enter the file name with the extension .htm or .html and click Save. Next to view the file in a web browser, open Internet Explorer and select File and click Open. Then click on Browse in the open dialog box that appears. Now select the file folk.html and click Open. In the open dialog box that appears, click OK to open the page. You have successfully recreated Draghav's web page. In the end, answer this question. Click on the correct option. Which of the following tags in HTML is used to add data to a table?